Hey guys, I hope you remember that I told you that there is a shortcut to doing those long ground state configurations for electrons, and those are noble gas configurations. So that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, the noble gases are over here. They are group 18 on the periodic table, so at the end of the rows. Your noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. They each finish a row or an energy level on the periodic table. So again, they are in group 18. Um, noble gases are stable, which is what all atoms really want to be in the end. They have a full outer shell. So noble gas configurations take advantage of this by condensing what you have to write. So Helium is 1s2, so instead of writing carbon 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, your noble gas configuration will be helium in brackets 2s2, 2p2. This one doesn't look a lot shorter, but it will help you a lot when you get to those D block and F block elements. So let's take a look at the first one and learn how to do these. Um, let's talk about the normal configuration for arsenic. Here's arsenic on your periodic table. And normally you would have to go through and write down 1s2, 2s2, uh, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p3. It's not the longest one, but it's still inconvenient. What you should notice is that the part in, this should say red instead of yellow, is the same as argon's configuration. Here is argon on your periodic table. And argon's configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p6. So what this allows us to do is to look at the noble gas that comes before the element we are going to do the electron configuration for. And it's going to cut out that part of the configuration. Because when you look, here's argon's configuration. That makes up this whole part of arsenic's configuration. So what we can do is we can just replace that part with AR in brackets. That's an R, not an S. Um, so the noble gas configuration for arsenic would be argon. Again here, it'll be argon 4s2, 3d10, and then 4p3. So again, you have to pick the noble gas that comes before it. The noble gas after arsenic would be krypton, but we want the one in the row before it. This cuts down on a lot of writing for you. Let's look at a couple of examples together to get you used to doing these before you go off on your own. Let's start with chlorine. Here's chlorine on the periodic table. And let's find the noble gas before chlorine. Argon's after it. So we're going to look back here at neon. So we know that the configuration for neon can take the place of all of that part. After neon is where we start writing out our uh, the rest of our configuration. So we wrote neon up here in brackets, then we're going to go to 3s2, and if you know your pattern, this should be pretty easy. We go through 3s2, and then we simply go to 3p5. And that's all you have to do for that instead of writing out all of that. Let's try the same thing for lead. All right, here is lead on your periodic table. And let's look for the noble gas before it, which is xenon. So we know that if we write down Xe xenon in brackets, we have covered all of this already and don't have to worry about writing it down and that makes our lives easier. So we're going to start writing after xenon over here at 6s2. After 6s2 remember we've got to go down to the f block here. So we're going to be go going through 4f14. We're going to come back up here to the d block. We're going to be going through 5d10 and then we're going to go to 6p2. See how much easier that was? Let's look at neodymium. 
which is down here in the F block, I believe. Right there. Now, this is where it can get a little bit tricky because you have to remember that 4F came from here. Okay, so when we are looking at the noble gas before it, we need to look right here at xenon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through anything after xenon, which is going to take us through 6S2. And it's going to take us down to the F block here. And we're going to get 4F4. All right, let's do this last one, mercury. All right, so let's find mercury here. Mercury is right here in your periodic table. So we need to look again at the noble gas before mercury. So that's going to be xenon. Oh, I forgot to write my noble gas back there on neodymium. So that was xenon, I believe, yeah. Okay, so back to mercury, we've got xenon. Then after xenon, we're going to go to 6s2. We're going to come on down and go through 4f all the way through 14. Oops. And then we're going to go back up and go through the D block here. And we're going to end up on 3, 4, 5, D, 10. All right, so that's really all there is to writing noble gas configurations. So I'm going to let you guys go on ahead to your packet and practice. It's going to be on page four of your packet. And it's just the top half of that page. It says uh, worksheet noble gas configurations and electron di dot diagrams. But you're only going to do part one, which is the noble gas configurations. I'll teach you how to do electron dot diagrams the next time. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.